the creator behind Professor Pincushion, a YouTube channel that has over 500 how-to sewing video tutorials and over half a million subscribers. I'm also the author of the new sewing book, Professor Pincushion's Beginner Guide to Sewing, Garment Making for Nervous Newbies from Stash Books and Imprint of CNT Publishing. With the help of Penny the Straight Pin and a few of his friends, this book uses cheeky humor to take the fear out of trying a new hobby and makes it fun and easy to start. Nervous newbies can come in different ages, so this book is perfect for both adults and young adults alike. Consistent with Professor Pincushion's easy-to-learn teaching style, the book starts at the very beginning assuming the reader has little to no sewing experience or supplies. It has a chapter covering not only what tools are needed, but a breakdown on what the tool is and its importance in sewing. Next is a chapter breaking down the different parts of the sewing machine, threading, and offers an exercise on using the sewing machine to build confidence. With chapter three, the focus turns to fabric. What are the differences between knit and woven? What does right side and wrong side mean? And some of the different types. Even for beginners, it's never too early to start building up that fabric stash. To get an understanding of the differences of working with both types of fabric, the book gives instructions for altering an existing knit t-shirt in order to create a new unique style and for making an easy t-shirt bag. In an introduction to woven fabric, they learn to make a hair scrunchie. To continue building a newbie's knowledge, the next two chapters are all about using commercial patterns, what they are, how to find them, sizing, fabric notions, and how to cut them out and use them. We cover all the basics so the information is useful and not overwhelming. And with that, it's time to jump into sewing clothes. Professor Pincushion's Beginner Guide to Sewing offers two full-size digital patterns that can be downloaded and printed at home. It'll give beginners a taste of sewing something from a pattern. The final two chapters take them step-by-step step through the process from pattern stage to final project for both making pajama shorts and a t-shirt. Plus, in between instructions, the book mixes in handy tips like showing you how to do pin easing, what to do if your seams end up wavy, or what happens if you make a mistake and need to use your seam ripper for a do-over. While readers' first few projects may be less than perfect, that's okay because it's all part of the learning process and completing the projects makes everyone a success. This book is all about encouragement and focuses on learning more than perfection. For tools, they'll need all the basics like scissors, seam ripper, sewing gauge, fabric marker or chalk, straight pins and pin cushion, needles, and flexible tape measure. The book also stresses the importance of using a quality iron, ironing board, and of course, sewing machine. For notions, readers will need one quarter inch wide elastic, one inch wide elastic, and a variety of thread. For fabric, they'll need quilters cotton, flannel for pajama shorts, and either interlock or jersey knit for the t-shirt. Because we encourage the use of using commercial patterns, the book will build enough confidence for readers to venture out on their own and find more projects to do and develop a love of sewing clothes.